What's up, teacups? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Tiana G, aka T, and today we're gonna be making a very spring inspired lamb dish. I have a rack of lamb that I'm gonna cut up into some chop. I have some delicious mint and dill that I wanna turn into like a salsa, and I have some barley that we're gonna cook with some aromatics and everything's gonna come together perfectly. Let's not forget the peas because that's why we're here, it's spring. And I have some peas, and I have some pea tendrils and it's gonna be gas, okay? The recipe is gonna be down below in the deets but before we get into it, make sure you tap in with me, click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and follow all of my social media links. All right, let's get it. So first things first, we're going to prepare our rack of lamb. Damn. Indeed. Damn. What's going on over there? So we're gonna start off by making our marinade. I'm gonna take some um, yogurt. You can take some creme fraiche or sour cream. Use whatever you have. I'm gonna pop that in a bowl. And then I have a blend of spices right here, which are pretty much cumin, coriander, turmeric, mustard, garlic, onion, and that's gonna go up in that uh, yogurt mix, as well as some salt. Don't mind the noise if you hear it in the background, there's some construction going on. I added some salt and I'm cracking in some fresh black pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a mixy mix. That looks divine, it smells divine as well. So I'm gonna set this aside for right now, and then I'm gonna focus on cutting the chops. So I'm gonna take this rack here, which has pretty much been Frenched already, and it looks pretty great to me. So there's no really additional things I need to do. You could serve it like this as well if you wanna grill the whole thing, but um, for time purposes, I'm just going to cut them into chops. So you're just gonna go straight down in between the bones and then you'll have a chop like this. So I'm gonna set them on the sheet tray, which is not shown inside the frame. I love lamb. Oh, look at this one, big juicy piece. So we have the lamb chops that have been cut and prepared, these little two wonky pieces. Don't mind those. Now I'm actually going to take some fresh oregano. I'm going to chop this up because this is going to be going into our yogurt mix as well. A good like rough chop like that, that looks pretty solid. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna pop that in there and continue to groove. I'm also going to be adding in some olive oil into this, kind of loosen that yogurt up a bit. So then I'm going to just add in our lamb chops to the yogurt. Smear that yogurt on the chops as much as you possibly can. Try to get it even and kind of all the way up the meat. All the way to the fat cap, that's what I'm trying to say. You can use your hands if you'd like to, but if you do, make sure you use a little bit of gloves because um, there's turmeric in here. It could stain your nails. If you're anything like me, and you like to keep it fly, you don't want to ruin your nail polish. That's out. Yeah, so this looks pretty good to me. Pretty coated in that goody good goodness. So now that it's like sitting here, we're gonna let it marinate. I'm gonna put this aside to kick it. Now I'm going to get into chopping up some garlic. This is gonna be going into our barley. Five cloves, I like that number. You just wanna prepare the garlic like you normally would. Remove it from the peel. And then you're going to give it a rough chop afterwards. 
automatic. This looks good to me. I like where this is at. All right, so I'm also gonna take some spring onions, which are nice and pungent, kind of similar to a scallion, um, but just a lot more flavorful. It's like a baby onion, pretty much, as well as the whites. Good. Put that in here. So for the fun part, we're gonna get into cleaning some of these peas. Um, you can take the pea and take a paring knife, if you will, and kind of just pull that string that's in the middle and go off the opposite way. So after you do this, you want to cut it down the middle. Not all the way, you just wanna use the tip of your knife. So you can kind of open them so they look like this. So they're beautiful, they're natural, opened. Look at that, just gorgeous. You can shuck them at this point. I'm gonna leave them open like this. I think that's gonna look really nice. Okay, so while I'm prepping the peas, I'm going to get the barley going because I know that's gonna take a minute. Probably gonna take anywhere from 30, 25 to 35 minutes. So I'm gonna pop a pot on the back. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter into a pot here. I'll let that do its thing and melt down some. So into this, I'm going to add in some garlic. I'm also going to be adding in some spring onions. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a little mixy mix. It smells incredible. Could you imagine? Gas. All right, so that's doing its thing. I do not want to brown these at all. So I'm just sweating them out a tad bit to release their essential oils. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in some chicken stock to this. And now I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. It's probably gonna take anywhere from five to seven minutes, BRB. Chicken stock is doing a dance. We're going in with the barley. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little mixy mix and add in a little pinch of salt. The barley could take anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes. Um, I'm gonna check it after 15 minutes to see how I feel about it. And then, yeah, we'll see what's good. Let's head back over to the peas. I gotta push them peas, y'all. We pushing peas over here, <laughs> literally. Okay, so when it comes to the mint and the dill, um, I'm thinking to do some, some kind of like mint gremolata vibe. So I'm gonna take some of that mint and I'm going to chop it. <laughs> I'm gonna take it up, roll it up, do a light little half-ass chiffonade and slice. I love mint, oh my gosh. Mint, peas, and lamb? Come on. It's like peanut butter jelly right there. Mm, can go the opposite way. I don't wanna go too fine on this. I really don't. If I were to wanna go fine, I would have just blended it up. So I'm gonna pop some of that mint in there. I'm gonna go a little bit more. I'm just going in batches so that way I have, I'm not over chopping over any areas of the mint. I don't wanna bruise it up. So with the dill, we're just not gonna go really crazy at all either. Very much rough. That's gonna go in the mint bowl. And then at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some olive oil into this. As well as a little salt. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grate some lime zest in with the herbies. I'm gonna juice the lime gonna take a spoon and kind of mix it up. I'm gonna need way more olive oil than this. Yeah, this looks a lot better. Okay, so to kind of spice up this little gremo situation, I have some ghost pepper salt here. Pretty good, great for heat. I'm gonna go ahead and add some 
it's gonna add some salt obviously and it's gonna also add some kick which is gonna play really nicely with all of those warm spices that are inside of that marinade that yogurt marinade there we are gas absolutely gas so i'm gonna go preheat the grill barley i just checked it's doing great probably has about like 15 more minutes um this is gonna develop flavors as it sits it already tastes great but we're gonna adjust to seize it adjust it a little bit later but for right now time to preheat the grill all right y'all so we've made it outside we're about to grill some lamb chops i eat about to grill some lamb choppies we're gonna go ahead and add some of the lamb onto the grill All right, y'all, we grill it and chillin'. Everybody's dogs are barking. They smell the lamb. Right now, I'm just waiting for them to kind of brown. Dogs is barking. So I'm gonna just flip them over once they've got a little bit of caramelization on each side. I don't wanna overcook the lamb. These dogs is going crazy over the lamb right now. I don't want to get too crazy with this fire because I want them to rest a little bit. So once they look something like this, I'm going to go ahead and just take it off. The smaller ones definitely can come off. Some little baby pieces caramelization, some smokiness from the grill. Now they're gonna rest and we're gonna go start cooking some peas. Okay, so the lamb is resting in the back. The barley is just about done. So I'm getting a pan hot here for our peas. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of butter as well as a tad bit of oil. Peas are going in, tendrils are going in as well. They will shrink a bit. So when it comes to these peas, I just want to keep it really clean and just add a little bit of salt. I'm going to add just a teeny bit of water. Kind of help create some steam. I'm going to cover them up. All right, so our peas are finally finished. Very quick, super easy. I'm going to squeeze just a little bit of Meyer lemon juice in them. for some brightness and it'll kind of help from browning too much. So we're gonna start off plating with a little bit of barley on the bottom of the plate. And I'm gonna add some peas, as well as some tendrils. And then we're gonna add some lamb. that a little rustic and then we're gonna top it with that salsa uh, gremolata situation all over the lamb we're gonna hit it with a little bit of finishing salt which is some Florida cell and bada bing bada boom here we have it looks chaotic we're about to eat it let's Pink. I like it. Mm -mm. Flavor is insane. Flavor on that is insane. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look at this. Yum. A little salsa on there, some peas, solid bite. This one, 
So the barley is cooked perfectly. Lamb flavor is insane. Perfect cook on the lamb. We have some smokiness, all the spices. That yogurt really helped keep it moist and juicy. And that salsa V, gremolata, whatever you want to call it, that dill and mint is so nice and bright. Mm. Yum. The peas are actually cooked perfectly, but I don't like the color on them that much. I could have blanched them before cooking them or added the lemon a little bit sooner, but still perfectly cooked, not overcooked at all. This is a 10 out of 10 for sure. I hope y'all enjoyed my spring lamb chop dish. It's very fresh, it's very bright, it's clean-ish, healthy. The flavors are on point. Mm -mm -mm. Definitely bomb. Definitely really good. Bomb, bomb, bomb. And the peas, peas, y'all. Bomb. I gotta go enjoy this. I love y'all teacups. Until next time, peace, love, and blessings. All right, bye. Busting out the bone, y'all. Bomb. Mm -mm -mm. You know what's good when you start nibbling on the bone, right?